So now we're gonna hop into doing some just basic form and details in our coral reef. And again, guys, we are not gonna be going too crazy into our coral reef here. It's gonna be pretty abstract because this is all about the sea turtle and creating the impression of this environment. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is kind of do some darks again. So we're gonna redefine some of our layers and some of the forms. And we're gonna do that with some Prussian or with purple. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, whatever you wanna do, this is your painting. Um, so all you're gonna do is take whatever that dark color is that you so choose and redefine not only some of the edges, like right here where we lost some to the back sand area, but also give some impressions of some patterns or some neat little shapes. Like right here, I'm gonna do some like little circles or ovals. Also, you're gonna to wanna to place in maybe something like a staghorn coral or a uh, little flowy kind of plant-like sponge or anything like that. So you're gonna do that in this stage where you're adding in these darker lines for interest and giving you some more depth and detail. And now you can do this wherever you want, guys. Don't be putting this exactly where I'm putting this because um, not only maybe are your colors in a different area, but maybe you have a different aesthetic. Maybe you do want to have a specific coral included in here or, and such and such. So just give yourself that opportunity if that is what you want to do. Otherwise, you just get the impression of what I'm doing and then just create your own version of it. Again, guys, I'm just here to show you in general how to use the materials, and how to develop some techniques that will help you create the artwork that inspires you most. All right, so see, just doing that. I have already started to develop out some texture and I love doing these weird little funny swirls like I'm doing right now. Those always give a lot of form. And then I'm going to also do a little sponge waving in the water. And I'm going to kind of make a, just another little coral right there. Again, just kind of giving some texture, nothing too crazy. All right, so just like that, we've already been already developing up this ground a ton. So now we're gonna go in with our colors and continue this. So I'm gonna go in with my yellows and I'm going to toss in some bright little patches just like that. And then in the areas where I already have yellow, I'm gonna take some of my turquoise and I'm going to create a texture like, okay, I want mine to be a brain coral maybe. So, all right, I'm gonna put some little squigglies in there and boom, it's a brain coral. Just like that, guys. So nothing too crazy or out of this world. We're just really starting to get the basics in. But just so you know, whenever you do develop this and you learn a lot about how to form up all of these shapes, you will be able to apply this to a far more detailed coral reef painting later on. And then up here, I'm going to add in some of my bright purple. Love that purple color, guys. It looks so good down here. And then I'm gonna take some of my turquoise and kind of just put some turquoise dots. Almost like it's a plant hanging around. And I'm gonna take some yellow on top of it and I'm just gonna pat, 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 pat it around. And then I'm even gonna take some teal, and this is like really the big thing is whenever you're all done with all your colors, you're gonna go over and highlight them all in this kind of a teal color and let them mix and match in with one another and run into each other. And it'll really pull all these colors together, make them really be in harmony by using that one color to connect them all. And now I'm gonna take some of my orange color and just kind of continue that up the side a little bit. And 
And even my red, I'm gonna take some of my red into the purple areas that it always looks really nice. Very strong color. Obviously again, don't put too much or it will definitely overwhelm your canvas. So yeah, I'm gonna just put in some more yellows. See, I'm just doing these fun little choo -choo -choo -choo, little tick marks, little gestural marks. That's all it is, guys. Nothing too crazy. And then down here, I'm actually going to create kind of like a little coral with a color. But I'm not being too crazy about how serious I am with it. Um, let's say maybe I want to do a yellow one or I want to do a green one. So I'm going to take some turquoise and my yellow. Mix those two together, maybe grab a bit of white or a bit of teal. And maybe throw in some little plant life down here. Also could add some up there, maybe have a few little dots down here. And then take some of your peach color that you can make with your orange and white. Take it over your oranges. So you see, it's really just this play of back going back and forth with your colors and pushing and pulling your highlights and your darks until you really get something that you're really happy with. So I'm really happy with this. This is all you really need, guys. Don't need to overthink this part. Um, but the last thing you're gonna do before you can call your background of your, with your coral portion at least, done is doing these little teal highlights like I was just showing you a moment ago. And again, this is going to add so much highlight and connection and balance and harmony to your piece. Um, so just take your time with it and be sure to also kind of add a little bit of those highlights to these darker portions that are in the background further. And I'm not saying this background, I'm talking about your little corals that you just made if you decided to make those. And you can even create one just purely from teal down at the bottom as well, and that can look really nice. So basically you're just highlighting the tippy tops of each layer. So all of these layers, again, remember, we were creating depth and form, and we had some coming in front of others, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So just keep in mind that you can do that again, so now you're doing it with a highlight instead of a dark. And don't be afraid to go interior. So go inside the coral is really where you make it pop. So don't just outline your corals, go inside it and give them form. Excellent, excellent. All right, so I'm going down this a little bit more. Gonna give a few strikes on there. Excellent. All right, so I am very happy with how my corals are looking. Just gonna add just a little bit more green right there just to give it some depth because it is behind our flipper there. So that's the only thing you might wanna keep in mind and make sure that whatever coral you have right here below that flipper is darker. Fantastic guys. So now we're gonna do our last thing which is just doing our final round of highlights on our turtle and then doing some little touch up in the water on the surface. And we're gonna be using this exact same brush, our little round brush. So let's start with our whites, do our highlights first. Again, so you're just going to redefine your brightest brights. Up here. And again, just make sure your brush is super duper clean whenever you're doing this. And if you're actually already happy with what you have when it comes to your ripples, or I mean, sorry, to your light filtering through, then you don't have to worry about that at all, guys. I'm just going through just because I wanted to touch up a few of these little lines. So I went in with the highlights first, and now I'm going in with some of my turquoise just to darken up a couple of the areas. Just to give it a little bit, a little bit of depth. So this little tiny punch of depth. 
just like that. Fantastic. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight around the front of our flipper right here with some teal. And of course right here as well. And just like that guys, that is our entire painting. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed learning how to paint a hot spill sea turtle and how to develop out these coral reef scenes. If you have any questions about today's class, please feel free to reach out to us via the comments below or reach out to us on our social media channels at Canvas of the Wild. And please, we would love to see your work, so share it with us at Canvas of the Wild with the hashtag of the wild for a chance to be featured on our pages. Until we get to paint with you again soon, stay safe, stay positive, and keep creating, guys. See you later.